Have you ever gotten down to the con floor and your cosplay starts to fall apart or something breaks off of it? We're going to show you how you can repair your costume without having to go back up to your room. Or But thank you for joining me on uh, this small little video about uh, barge contact cement. You know, when we are traveling to conventions, we don't want to be traveling with that large container that's all over the con floor while you're trying to, you know, take pictures and buy stuff and spend your money. So what I thought was uh, doing a video on how cosplayers, uh, myself included, can have a you know a costume piece start falling apart and not have to travel all the way back upstairs to your hotel room. Sometimes your hotel room is a couple blocks away, and some of the smaller cons may not have a repair station for you to go repair your uh, your stuff. A horn may fall off, a gauntlet may snap, you know. So this is what I came up with: we putting them into smaller bottles, like nail polish bottles, right there. You can buy these guys on Amazon, empty and fill them up, which I'll show here on the video. It should start right now. So what happens uh, more often than not, sometimes our cosplays rip or fall apart and we do quick repair. Unfortunately, not every con has a repair station. So what I've done is I've come up with a way of taking a small container with you without having to take a, a tin container or a large tube of contact cement. And the answer is, nail polish bottles that you can find on Amazon or container stores online. They come empty, they come usually in a pack of six, and they're pretty easy. So what you do is you just open them up, take out the little ball bearing, and then you fill them up. So for this example, I'm going to take my tube of contact cement here, and I'm going to just fill up the container. Sometimes uh, these tubes of contact cement are actually way big and we don't have a lot of space on our costume to take them with us, so this is just kind of a smaller solution because a small um, container of nail polish will actually fit into your pocket or you can actually most of the time velcro it into your costume if, you're, if you've got armor because you're not going to need a whole bunch of it because usually it's just a small repair. The other alternative way of doing it is you can actually take a small funnel and you can actually drip the barge contact cement off the brush and into the funnel and fill up your empty nail polish. Well, there you go, guys. So that's it when these guys are filled up, but that's not all. This is a quick solution if you're carrying them around a fanny pack or your pocket or you build a little compartment inside of your armor to, you know, house a little bit of this, uh, uh, this tiny little bottle of cement because it's not gonna be a lot. It's actually pretty cool. And they, they all usually come with little applicators, which is great. And the applicators are about four millimeters in width, which is perfect when you apply a little bit of pressure and now they're perfect for that five millimeter thick foam, even the thicker foam that's a little, maybe half inch. Here we go, we're gonna let that dry for a little bit. But the other thing that we're gonna be talking about is tin can containers. These guys right here. I buy these online. I'll have the link below on where I get them. But they're really awesome. And they're really helpful, especially if I'm traveling. I don't want to travel with that thing in my suitcase. I can fill one of these guys and put it in my uh, carry-on. I've carried them to Europe and Korea and always, always land. Look at that. And they come with a small little applicator blush, brush, not blush, that is smaller than what comes with barge cement. So that way, it's perfect for uh, the size of foam that I build with, which is five millimeter. Here we go. I've applied it. Ah, perfect. Look at that. Oh, okay. We're gonna apply just a little bit of pressure. Oh, that's because we were on the wrong side. Ah, here we go. There we go, perfect. So that's it guys, a uh, little container like this. I think I bought uh, six of these, how much, uh, one, two, three. Uh, there might be one roaming around, might've been five containers. Five of them for like $7 plus free shipping on Amazon. 
and then I get these for like a dollar thirty-nine uh, Freud container, and I will have the links below of these containers on Amazon and Freud. Uh, the other one is getting these containers right here. Um, that you know they're colored like this, so that way you know the sun doesn't uh, ruin the chemicals in here. But uh, you can also put your barge or your contact cements in this thing right here and it'll do the same thing. I'm a little worried about these if I had them in direct sunlight for a long time, which I don't know why I would have that. Uh, why would you leave these in your car forever to dry up? But you know, put a little gaffer's tape around them and you should be fine. But if you're just, you know, wanting something to carry around with you at a photo shoot or convention, there it is. So guys, please, if you like the video, uh, Hit like on the video and subscribe to our channel. We'll have some more tutorial videos coming up in the next few weeks. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned for those. And thank you so much for watching. Again, comment below if you have any ideas on how you carry items for quick fixes at conventions. And also check out the links uh, to get these uh, cool little bottles. All right, guys, thank you so much.